This video is not about the coronavirus, but this situation right now is such a good example of what fear does to us. You know, we go out and for some reason we see toilet paper as a scarce resource, so we buy all of it, which then makes it a scarce resource, because now there's no toilet paper in the stores. So people, are, whenever they see something, they buy it. So everybody's stocking up on toilet paper for no good reason. But it, it, it reinforces itself, and that's what fear does. And there's only two ways of living, as I talked about in the previous video. Either you confront the fear a little by little, or a, you know, big by big, depending on what you want to do, right? Or you are, you know, shying away from what you are afraid of. And if that's what you do, you are a slave to your fear. It's pushing you back. You try to see if you can remain in status quo, but then something happens. And, and you have no resources, you have no emotional extra resources, you have no financial resources to handle that emergency. And so you panic even more. So you are at the effect of events constantly. To not be at the effect of events, to be proactive, to be creating your life, to be creating and influencing your life circumstances and the quality of your life means walking in to the fire. You don't have to leap into it. You don't have to run into it, but you have to every day confront it. Because if you don't stand up to it, it controls you. But I'm not feeling fear, Klaus. I'm pretty good. You know, I just want to make more money. But, you know, see, this is what the mind does. That instead of you going around feeling fear all the time, you have beliefs that are built on fear that keeps you from confronting your fears. I can't start my own business. I don't have the resources. It's too risky anyway. Look at all these people and look at the coronavirus right now. It's killing businesses. I can't lose 20 pounds. I tried a thousand times. You know, I spent 20, you know, I'll always be fat. All these beliefs keep you from trying again, keep you from leaping into starting your own business and doing something that you apparently do have no control over because nobody has when they're starting their own business. You know, you can have more or less control, but you can't have all the control. So you have to take risks. The same thing goes for losing weight. Even though you try it a hundred times, you know, building an, an identity as a fat person will keep you inside of that fat person, right? But it will also keep you out of fear. So the fear is stored in your beliefs. You don't feel it, but you don't do anything. As Anthony Robbins is pretty famous for saying, the only thing keeping you from what you want is the story you have about how you can't get it or why you can't get it. And that story is what's keeping you from feeling fear. And you have to challenge that. If you don't, you're at the effect of fear. You're inside your comfort zone and you're not moving. You can read and learn and think and envision a fantastic future, but the path to it is uncomfortable. And by facing up to the uncomfortable, to the fearful, to what makes you uncertain, in that way you expand your world. And there's no other way. So I have to, I have to be in pain, Klaus, to get what I want. But getting what I want is the pleasure so you're saying I have to be in pain to get my pleasure, then it doesn't add up. You know, you got 100% pain, 100% pleasure, then why even move? Why even try? Because, you know, you can eat the cake. You can, you know, argue with your spouse, whatever, if you're bored, right? Or get pleasure from something that hurts you in the, in the short, and you can get that fast, right? But standing up to your fear, doing a little of that every single day will give you a huge reward, disproportionate to the fear you feel, to the discomfort you feel. If you go for a run every day, right? It doesn't feel good. That's not what you want to do when you get out of bed. But if you do it anyway, the amount of pleasure you get from the elation, the health, the energy, the, the, the increase in mood, you know, all of those things, and, and what that does to your interactions along the day, and to your career, and to your money situation, to everything. It's just amazing, but you don't see it perhaps. Once you, you go for a run every day, you don't think about the fact that that's actually the reason why your life is so great, <laughs> right? So it's an immense amount. It's totally dispro disproportionate. Like if you eat the cake, if you go for the short-term pleasure where you don't have to confront your fear, right? You get punished, right? But if you go for the, for the big pleasure, 
you have to confront your fear. You have to commit to something and risk losing, risk failing. But the, the, the reward on the other side of that is immense. So decide to have a life where you, you're pushing your boundaries all the time. If you do, then there's just no end to the, the pleasure you can experience all the time. If you don't, it's going to hurt more than the pain that you're trying to avoid.